have the floor plans for the for the castle. Unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. The freak did that relic do to me? Is, is that a orb? What, what this... Uh... That this whole thing is about. Like, whoa, whoa. God damn it. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, You'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Dan. Oh, God, I remember now. It's one of... one of Alexander's hidden doors. Alstadt and Brennenburg Castle, 1801. Another region rich with lore is Alstadt, deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries there has been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brennenburg. The quiet four-clad mountains dressed with the scattered lakes is as picturesque as can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge them themselves in such conversations since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. The gatherers. This story reached all the way back uh, to the time of the Thirty year, Years' War. 
It is said that the soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies wrought by the tainted souls have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid rem revenants. They move uh, silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers, as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks dragged behind them which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? A visit undone. Henrik Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known er erudite, uh, visited Alstadt at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he, lo as he looked for remnants of kingdoms past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he mentioned, uh, and he is mentioned in many other many records of the time. One day he went to investigate a burrow in the nor northwestern glades, only to be only to never be seen again. Heinrich is uh, known to have passed away in Green Greenoble, Greenoble, some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Alstadt, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? The Immortal Baron The Baron of Brandenburg lives a reclusive, reclusive life with his family and his uh, castle nearby Alstadt. And like most of the n of those noble of most those of a noble birth, the rumors are re inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals uh, little, bef little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands, claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remained popular throughout the presum his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to, to lineage and heritage. Therefore, the birth of, and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact one, of the, one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation and joined the coveted Order of the Black Eagle along with the great leaders of his country. So Alexander is, is in fact 300 years old. I mean, he, he seemed, he seemed old when, when I last met him, but not 300. Regarding closing of the wine cellar, Willem and his fools uh, have uh, en endangered my research long enough with their um, abs absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and, uh, and is killing my trusty servants. 
It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brunnenberg. I need to lock Willem and his men up uh, to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave, leave or they will, will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It would, in a sense, solve both my problems. What, what about these this human vessels? Like they, they, the hell were they, were they gathering for, for Alexander? And, and why were, were they doing it? Heck is going on? Um, study. We've already been in the study. We do. Just stay, stay a little, a little while close to this light, so that I regain my composure okay we but we have to press on we have to At the same time, I feel I feel such an obligation to to go through with this. It must have been. Oh God! Fuck this! Fuck this place! Oh shit! They go off. The hell is that? Oh, oh god! That's the. Oh god, it's pulsating. It's the same stuff that that was on the the big door over there. Ooh, I even forgot to to read. Cellar key. Is is this the wine cellar? Oh. Oh. Just just fuck this place. Get 
is the key on the door, John? Uh, I have the key. leave them here apparently they they got poisoned or something not not sure which which would have been The, at least the poison saved them from from having to aqua regia yeah. um saved them from starving to death which would have been a very drawn out way to go willem's last words my name is willem house of garish these are my final words my confession and testament Two years ago I was summoned to the castle Brennenburg, as most of the aris arist aristocracy uh, I was curious about what it was supposed what this supposed knight of the order could uh, could want from me and accepted the invitation. The baron was friendly and offered me a proposition proposition. 
it dawned on me that the nature of the the contract was sordid and uh, that the reason i was chosen was because of the follies of my past and not my honors i've been awarded during my time as a soldier I was to kidnap healthy humans upon his uh, slightest whim and do so without asking questions. In return, he would attest to my character at the royal court, uh, advancing my position within noble society. I would like to claim that I struggled with the, my decision, but I, it came swiftly and I accepted wholeheartedly. Ever since that day have brought men, women, and children to Brennenberg. I can't remember the numbers, but there were many, perhaps even a hundred, none of whom ever seen or heard from again. Tonight the Baron invited me and my men down to the wine cellar to celebrate our work. I had my suspicions as we descended the stairs, but he insisted and joined us in a toast. The wine tasted fine and my, drink, my men drank without restraint. So begins the punishments for our sins. The Baron has locked us up and returned upstairs. Forgive me for what I have done. I was weak and I fell into his diabolic ways. My men are screaming. The skins are being pierced by their own tangled bones. I feel my insides re revolt against the, their God-given nature. Blood has begun to pour from my eyes and I can no longer... So Willem and his, and his men brought people here for Alexander and they they were never seen again. What the heck did he use the, the people for and, and why? Like what did they did he kill all of them? Are they are they trapped trapped somewhere? You stupid thing. Thank you. 
this is so heavy. Come on. Come on. What? What is this place? Okay. Oh, oh dear lord. Just just fuck this place right into hell. Deep breaths now. It's all gonna be fine. It's all gonna be fine. Oh god, fuck. Stop. 
still there. Such a freaky motherfucker. Dear Lord. <laughs> Was one of the gatherers? Like, he didn't even look human. I don't... I don't want to be gathered. Seeing as what, what what Alexandra did to to Willem and his men, I don't, don't even want to fucking know what he did to to all of the people that that was brought here. done with this I'm never stepping my freaking foot here again <laughs> fucking hell 